Welcome to Pro Floor Solutions, your tile channel. Subscribe. And guys, we got that wall to do there too. This one's gonna be a pretty hard wall to do using the mega light. That's right. And this is the kind of tile that that one wall that I just showed you all is gonna take. It's a checkerboard, so we're some kind of just masonry stone. I mean, you can tell by the bubbles and stuff. But look how rectified it is. So, as y'all can see, it also takes a sealer on it before install or, at, or before grow. All right, guys. Welcome back. So right now, what we're gonna do is this wall y'all see back here. We're gonna uh, we're gonna prime it with the MVP. It's a primer. So basically, what they did is they painted over the the drywall. So obviously, we can't tile over paint. Um, we're also working on some panels over here, but that's for another video. As y'all see, panels on this wall right here, and panels on that wall over there. So. But that's for another video for y'all so don't forget to subscribe before you do any work you always have to cover and protect all your surrounding areas in this case we're covering the brand new terrazzo floor and the terrazzo base that was installed next you want to make sure that you mix your primer well a lot of the good stuff always sits at the bottom of the bucket you gotta make sure you bring that up by mixing it always protection outlets Never start anything without covering and protecting because next thing you know, you'll be paying for cleaning. Now we got everything covered and protected, so let's start priming. You want to use a primer roll or a 3 8 nap and simply apply it on the wall as easy as if it were painting. Now the purpose of the priming application is for the reason that we'll be installing tile over drywall, which isn't a good idea. But not only that, they also applied a primer paint over the drywall, which definitely defeats the purpose of warranty. So it's not a good idea to install tile over drywall, and especially over drywall that's painted. Now in a perfect world, we would be installing tile either over Durock or Hardy Backer, but since that isn't the case, we're using the MBP primer to do this job. Now they do have other good primers out there, for example, Prime Grip by Maypie, which is one of my favorite primers. Looks like we're just about done with the first coat of priming. That's correct. We have to use two coats to make sure it's perfectly done. And if you notice on the left side of the wall, it has the darker blue, which indicates the second layer of primer, and that's the way it should look like. And on the right side of the wall, it's only the first layer, which looks like it definitely needs the second coat anytime using a primer i would always recommend using two layers for a good application all right guys as y'all can see it's already done fully primed two layers and it's already dry 24 hours later this prime this mvp stuff's pretty good you can see it's not like that um Mepai grip it's a little different but it still has that same grip texture guys thanks for watching stick around for my next video filling in the low spots on this wall so don't forget to subscribe to pro floor solutions your tile channel and i'll see y'all in the next one